What is up, YouTube? So today I just want to give an update on where I've been for the last six months. Long story short, I had got a job opportunity to move to Japan. We're living in an apartment now. It's about an hour away from Tokyo. We're in Hashimoto, the small area in the Kanagawa prefecture. After Camaro Fest, which was my last video, about a month or two later, we packed up and flew over here. So we've been living over here ever since. I've had no time to really make any videos or anything. It's been very busy. As you can see, I'm walking right now. I have to walk about a mile and a half every day to and from work. <laughs> Regarding the car, it's not really much going on with it. It's kind of sitting in storage, more or less. I have family kind of watching over it, starting it, running it. More or less, nothing has changed at all with it. But today, I will update you on kind of the plan with the White Tiger. While I was visiting the US, I did meet with the performance company Sky Performance and kind of discussed kind of the future plan. Um, overall, it's going to be a street legal drag car. It's kind of the goal of it. Anyways, here's a chart that I've put together to kind of show what the future foretells of the White Tiger. And I did block out some of the prices because I don't know, I don't want to have anybody hold Sky Performance or Fast Tech Performance or anybody to any certain pricing of labor or parts or anything. I don't want to get them put in a bind because if I got something cheaper than we're on sale, I don't want you guys to think that you can get it on sale too for something that was only temporary. But anyways, without further ado, here is the future of the White Tiger. This is basically just an overview to show kind of where I'm at with the build. First of all, I want to thank everyone who subscribed since I've last been on here. I really appreciate it. Um, to update on everybody with the current situation, like I mentioned, I'm living in Japan for now. I will be here until next September, so until then the car is kind of on hold. But the thing is I've not officially paid the car off yet, so it's kind of my goal right now is to pay it off and that should give me more money to put towards the car to finish it. This chart right here is kind of a breakdown of where the build is at. So the loan is 84% done, the engine is 56% done, drive train is 25% done, 51% done with the exterior, interior is 38% done. Obviously I don't put safety into my vehicle, I need to. <laughs> and labor, I'm 55% done, which I mean, not much I can do about that. I have 15 phases to complete the build and I am currently on phase 8. My target to finish the build is October 17th, 2024. That is the day I'm going to turn 30 so you may have seen my schematic of a motor and drive train. This is basically how I identify what parts of the car are lacking power, where it's struggling at, where I need to improve. Areas in green are good, like my fuel is good, my block is good, but areas in red, like I have a really hard time getting traction. I know my exhaust is bottlenecking, it's, I'm not getting enough air out. My intake, I'm not getting enough air in. This is grayed out because it's a boost kit and I don't have boost yet. In the drivetrain, I just put it as all orange because it's going to need done anyways whenever I do all this. As you can see, 
My current task is to pay off the car. Alright, so let's go on to the parts list. Like I said, I have 15 phases. Like phase 1 was my first mod, the bow tie decal. That was the first thing I ever did to the car. Then I got the cold air intake. Then I got brake caliper covers, which for some reason a lot of people don't like them. Don't understand why. They're just easier to maintain and easier to install. Phase 2. I installed a lot of decals, painted the rims, installed my spoiler, tinted the windows, then went to phase 3 where I installed the long tube headers, then phase 4 has where I installed the Fast Tech window logo, installed my hero tail lights, then stage 5 which is the biggest stage yet, so as most of y'all know this is when my motor blew, had a good new block, but stage 5 was a big stage. Phase 6, I was doing some touch ups on it like I got gauge pods put on it old catch can installed my Hurst line lock and the two-step rev limiter but the last mod I have done was installed a red tow hook from Aztec performance so that is where I have left off so now to get to the future of the car so see phase 8 is the next highlighted phase I met with Sky Performance and discussed with them how we need to go about building the rest of the car we're doing it in three stages like of course this could change but currently talking about doing the drive train first starting with the differential drive shaft axles rim suspension get me some actual weld racing rims i'm gonna go ahead and do the fuel pump while the rear axles out transmission i would like to get the 4l ade transmission and also put the hearst pistol grip shifter on it then I got weight reduction, take out the rear seats, and so I'm going to be putting a roll cage in it soon. So phase 9, I'm going to definitely remove the cats, because right now I have Cook's long tubes with high flow cats, and the cats are part of the air restriction problem I have. So those are going to have to go. The exhaust, I am torn on how I want to have my exhaust. I've seen some have their exhaust come out up front like this. I've seen some actually come out the back right there. And I've seen some actually come out the bottom through the side skirt and some will just not have it to be hidden under the car, kind of like my diverters are right now. So yeah, I cannot decide how I want to have the sauce right now. I'm kind of torn on all those options. Radiator, water pump, power cutoff switch, that with the fire extinguishers, harness, parachute, and roll cage. Those are all my primary safety items. So phase 10, looking at getting some High performance heads, don't know what kind yet. Uh, Sky Performance was discussing some with me, but honestly, I can't remember right now. The BTR intake manifold, get an intercooler, pro charger, get either the F1A or the F1R, and maybe the F1X, I think is what they were talking about too. But anyways, some options. Throttle body, I want to get it ported to, but it's going to be a 102 millimeter throttle body. Phase 11 through 15 are going to be like purely cosmetics. As you can see, it's all interior and exterior. Phase 11, steering wheel, going to be like a carbon fiber one. I found me a nice trim kit with real carbon fiber. I'm sure you already know this. I still have 6.2 liter or 6.2 L on the hood, on the hood stripe. And I'm obviously a 7 liter now. So I am going to remove the hood in general and get, I'm looking at the VIS racing carbon fiber terminator hood and putting 427 on the hood and put a uh, 7 liter badge on the rear trunk. Next, phase 13, I like to get the 6th gen headlights which I've seen a lot of people have now. I've seen a lot of people have those and I honestly like them. I'm going to do a front splitter. I'm going to get a front proximity sensor too for that front splitter because I don't want to be crunching it against a curb. Now this is where I'm kind of torn. For side skirts, I don't know if I want the Stingray Z side skirts or go carbon fiber around the car because these are just like, it would look like my current spoiler, but the carbon fiber would match the front splitter. So I could do a carbon fiber side skirt. If I do that, I would replace the spoiler with a carbon fiber version of it and I would get a carbon fiber rear diffuser as well. And this is actually new. But yeah, I just added this on last night, looking at black door handles and a black fuel door. Or plastic diff, yeah, that's gonna change right now. I'm not gonna plastic diff my fuel door. So phase 15, 
which would be the final phase. I want to install the Hero third brake light with the strobe in it, the LED side markers. Actually, I want to put the LED glow kit on there. And I want to put a strut bar under the hood, possibly, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to fit with the BTR intake manifold and all that. But if it'll fit, I'll get me a strut bar too. So, kind of a quick overview. Phase 1 through 7 is complete. Phase 8, timing wise, my goal is to start it August 1st of 2021 and have it done by February 2022. Phase 9, start it right after and finish it by August of 2022 then in february 2023 start phase 10 by august 2023 have the car pretty well set up for the track then august 2023 to december 2023 work on phase 11 phase 12 on december 1st 2023 and finish it on february 2024 right after have phase 13 done by May 1st, 2024, August 1st, have phase 14 completed, and by October 17th, 2024, have the final bit of the car completed. So yeah, there's the breakdown of the future of the car. I should be done with it, like I said, on October 17th, 2024. That is the goal. My next big phase will be hopefully completed by February 2022. So like two years from now, I want to have a big phase of it done. But yeah, hopefully I didn't make this too boring. It's more informative than anything. Of course, if you have any questions with the build, feel free to ask. I will always answer comments and questions. I don't know if I mentioned yet or not, but I was roughly estimated maybe around 900 plus horsepower with everything that's installed. But I'm going to push I'm going to try to get a thousand out of it. That is the end goal is I want a thousand horsepower to the wheels and I want to be able to keep it on the track in a straight line and hit, I don't know, as long as I'm under 10 seconds in the quarter mile, I'm happy. Right now I'm hitting like 12, 5, so I should easily hit that, hopefully. I know I'm shooting the outro with the intro, but if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.